Theoretical linguistics is the branch of linguistics that is most concerned with developing models of linguistic knowledge. The fields that are generally considered the core of theoretical linguistics are syntax, phonology, morphology, and semantics. Although phonetics often guides phonology, it is often excluded from the purview of theoretical linguistics, along with psycholinguistics and sociolinguistics. Theoretical linguistics also involves the search for an explanation of linguistic universals, that is, properties all, or many, languages have in common. Major fields equals Phonetics equals, Phonetics is the study of speech sounds with concentration on three main points, articulation the production of speech sounds in human speech organs. Perception, the way human ears respond to speech signals, how the human brain analyzes them. Acoustic features, physical characteristics of speech sounds such as color, loudness, amplitude, frequency etc. According to this definition, phonetics can also be called linguistic analysis of human speech at the surface level. That is one obvious difference from phonology, which concerns the structure and organization of speech sounds in natural languages, and furthermore has a theoretical and abstract nature. One example can be made to illustrate this distinction, in English, the suffix s can represent either, or can be silent depending on context. Orthographic representation, s, s, phonetic features, phonetic representations, s, z, a perception through the ear, high frequency sounds accompanied by a hissing noise. Acoustic features, frequency, 8000 to euro 11000 hertz, color similar to the hissing noise made by snakes. Phonological characteristics, occurrence, beginning, middle or end of words. Accompanied by vowels or consonants. Distinguishes meanings of words depending on context, s lower permal g low. Articulatory phonetics, the field of articulatory phonetics is a subfield of phonetics. In studying articulation, Phoneticians attempt to document how humans produce speech sounds. That is, articulatory phoneticians are interested in how the different structures of the vocal tract, called the articulators, interact to create the specific sounds. Auditory phonetics Auditory phonetics is a branch of phonetics concerned with the hearing, acquisition and comprehension of phonetic sounds of words of a language. As articulatory phonetics explores the methods of sound production, Auditory phonetics explores the methods of reception a euro the ear to the brain, and those processes. Acoustic phonetics Acoustic phonetics is a subfield of phonetics which deals with acoustic aspects of speech sounds. Acoustic phonetics investigates properties like the mean squared amplitude of a waveform, its duration, its fundamental frequency, or other properties of its frequency spectrum, and the relationship of these properties to other branches of phonetics and to abstract linguistic concepts like phones, phrases, or utterances. Equals phonology equals. Phonology is the study of how sounds are used in languages to convey meaning. Phonology includes topics such as stress and intonation. The basic unit of analysis for phonology is called phoneme. A phoneme is a group of sounds which are not distinguished by the language rules in determining the meaning. In English, for example, t and te degree are different allophones that represent a single phoneme. Equals morphology equals, morphology is the study of the internal structure of words. For example, in the sentences the dog runs and the dogs run, the word forms runs and dogs have an affix s added, distinguishing them from the base forms dog and run. Adding this suffix to a nominal stem gives plural forms, adding it to verbal stems restricts the subject to third person singular. Some morphological theories operate with two distinct suffixes s, called allomorphs of the morphemes plural and third person singular, respectively. Languages differ with respect to their morphological structure. Along one axis, we may distinguish analytic languages, with few or no affixes or other morphological processes from synthetic languages with many affixes. Along another axis, we may distinguish agglutinative languages, where affixes express one grammatical property each, and are added neatly one after another, from fusional languages, with non-concatenative morphological processes and or with less clear-cut affix boundaries. Equals syntax equals, 
Syntax is the study of language structure and phrasal hierarchies, depicted in parse tree format. It is concerned with the relationship between units at the level of words or morphology. Syntax seeks to delineate exactly all and only those sentences which make up a given language, using native speaker intuition. Syntax seeks to describe formally exactly how structural relations between elements in a sentence contribute to its interpretation. Syntax uses principles of formal logic and set theory to formalize and represent accurately the hierarchical relationship between elements in a sentence. Abstract syntax trees are often used to illustrate the hierarchical structures that are posited. Thus, in active declarative sentences in English the subject is followed by the main verb which in turn is followed by the object. This order of elements is crucial to its correct interpretation and it is exactly this which syntacticians try to capture. They argue that there must be a formal computational component contained within the language faculty of normal speakers of a language and seek to describe it. Equal semantics equals, semantics is the study of intention, that is, the intrinsic meanings of words and phrases. Much of the work in the field of philosophy of language is concerned with the relation between meanings and the word, and this concern crosscuts formal semantics in several ways. For example, both philosophers of language and semanticists make use of propositional, predicate and modal logics to express their ideas about word meaning. See also, Pragmatics, Digital Infinity. References, Ottenheimer, H. J. The Anthropology of Language. An Introduction to Linguistic Anthropology. Canada, Thomas Wadsworth.